Today I want to talk about why men should pursue women, not chase them. This is a very important topic, because many men make the mistake of chasing women and end up pushing them away or getting rejected. So what is the difference between pursuing and chasing? And how can you pursue a woman effectively and attract her to you? Let's find out. First of all, let's define what pursuing and chasing mean. Pursuing means to show interest in a woman and make an effort to get to know her better, while respecting her boundaries and signals. Chasing means to obsess over a woman and try to win her over by any means necessary, even if she is not interested or available. Pursuing is attractive. Chasing is needy. Why is pursuing attractive? Because it shows that you are confident, respectful and patient. You are confident because you are not afraid to express your interest and intentions. You are not hiding your feelings or playing hard to get. You are being honest and authentic with her. You are also showing that you have high self-esteem and value yourself as a person. You are not seeking validation or approval from her. You are happy with who you are and what you have to offer. You are respectful because you are not forcing yourself on her or invading her personal space. You are not being pushy or aggressive with your approach. You are not crossing any lines or making her uncomfortable. You are also showing that you respect her as a person and value her opinions and preferences. You are not trying to change her or manipulate her. You are accepting her for who she is and what she wants. You are patient because you are not rushing things or expecting immediate results. You are not being impatient or desperate with your actions. You are not putting any pressure or ultimatums on her. You are also showing that you trust the process and the timing of the relationship. You are not trying to force anything or control the outcome. You are letting things unfold naturally and organically. You are also giving her the opportunity to pursue you back and reciprocate your interest. You are not doing all the work or making all the moves. You are not being needy or clingy with your attention and affection. You are also showing that you have a balanced and fulfilling life outside of her. You have your own hobbies, passions and goals that keep you busy and happy. You are not making her the center of your world or depending on her for your happiness. Why is chasing needy? Because it shows that you are insecure, desperate and clingy. You are insecure because you are seeking validation and approval from her. You are not confident in yourself or your abilities. You are constantly doubting yourself and your worthiness. You are also showing that you have low self-esteem and value yourself poorly. You are willing to settle for less or compromise your standards. You are desperate because you are willing to do anything to get her attention and affection. You are not being selective or discerning with your choices. You are chasing after any woman who shows you some interest or gives you some hope. You are also showing that you have a scarcity mindset and lack of options. You think that she is the only one for you or the best that you can get. You are clingy because you are constantly texting, calling or showing up where she is. You are not giving her any space or time to miss you or think about you. You are suffocating her with your presence and communication. You are also showing that you have an attachment issue and fear of loss. You think that she will leave you or forget about you if you don't keep in touch with her. You are also putting her on a pedestal and making her the center of your world. You are not seeing her as a human being with flaws and weaknesses. You are idealizing her or worshipping her as a goddess. You are also showing that you have an imbalance in your life and lack of purpose. You don't have anything else going on for you besides her. You depend on her for your happiness and fulfillment. So how can you pursue a woman effectively and avoid chasing her? Here are some tips. 1. Be clear about your intentions. Don't play games or send mixed signals. Let her know that you like her and want to get to know her better. This will show that you respect her enough to be honest with her and that you have the courage to go after what you want. This will also prevent any confusion or misunderstanding between the two of you and set the right tone for the relationship. For example, you can say something like, I really enjoy spending time with you and I find you very attractive and interesting. I would love to see where this goes. 2. Be respectful of her time and space. Don't bombard her with messages or calls. Don't show up uninvited or unannounced. Don't pressure her to meet up or commit. This will show that you respect her boundaries and signals and that you are not needy or desperate for her attention. This will also give her the chance to miss you and think about you and make her more eager to see you again. For example, you can text her once or twice a day to check in or make plans, but don't text her every hour or every minute. You can also wait for her to reply before sending another message or call. 3. Be flexible and adaptable. 
Don't be rigid or stubborn about your plans or expectations. Be open to change and compromise. Be willing to take things slow or fast depending on her pace and comfort level. This will show that you are easygoing and understanding and that you are not controlling or demanding. This will also make her feel more comfortable and relaxed with you and make her more willing to open up and share with you. For example, you can suggest a date idea or a place to go, but don't insist on it if she has a different preference or suggestion. You can also follow her lead on how fast or slow she wants to move the relationship forward. 4. Be attentive and curious. Don't be distracted or bored when you talk to her or spend time with her. Pay attention to what she says and does. Ask questions and listen to her answers. Show interest in her hobbies, passions and goals. This will show that you care about her and value her as a person and that you are not just interested in her looks or body. This will also make her feel more appreciated and respected by you and make her more attracted to you. For example, you can remember the details of what she tells you and bring them up later in the conversation. You can also ask her open-ended questions that encourage her to talk more about herself and her opinions. 5. Be fun and playful. Don't be serious or dull when you interact with her. Make her laugh and smile. Tease her gently and flirt with her subtly. Challenge her and surprise her. This will show that you have a good sense of humor and a positive attitude and that you are not boring or predictable. This will also make her feel more happy and excited around you and make her more interested in you. For example, you can crack a joke or tell a funny story that relates to the topic of the conversation. You can also compliment her on something that she is wearing or doing, but in a playful way that implies that you are teasing her. 6. Be supportive and encouraging. Don't be critical or judgmental of her choices or actions. Compliment her sincerely and genuinely. Appreciate her efforts and achievements. Motivate her and inspire her. This will show that you are kind and compassionate and that you are not negative or harsh. This will also make her feel more confident and empowered by you and make her more loyal to you. For example, you can praise her for something that she did well or accomplished recently. You can also express your gratitude for something that she did for you or gave you. You can also share your goals and dreams with her and ask for her feedback or advice. These are some of the ways that you can pursue a woman without chasing her. Remember, pursuing is about showing interest, not desperation. Respect, not pressure. Patience, not haste. Attention, not distraction. Fun, not boredom. Support, not criticism. I hope this video was helpful for you guys. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more dating advice videos. And if you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below. I'll see you in the next video.